and welcome to today's Charlotte's Reading Adventures. I'm Andrea White, director of the Tivoli Theater, and this is my daughter Charlotte. She has been enjoying these readings an awful lot, and so we thank everybody that's came and done these so far. Today, we have our guest reader. Hi, I'm Marsha Renner, and I'm here to read a story to Charlotte. And I, along with my husband Steve and our two sons, Andrew and Eric, own and operate Renner's Engine Repair just in the miles north of Spencer. Right? Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, there was a lovable, slightly fussy little piggy named Peppa. More than anything in the whole wide world, Peppa loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Mummy Pig was Peppa's mommy. She was very wise about most things. Mummy Pig would say, Peppa, when you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Daddy Pig was Peppa's daddy. He loved eating cookies, and he had a big round tummy. When Daddy Pig jumped up in muddy puddles, he made a very big muddy splash. When Peppa's little brother George was born, Peppa helped look after him. And as soon as George was old enough, Peppa taught him how to jump in muddy puddles. George, Peppa said, just like Mummy Pig, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. George liked muddy puddles, but he liked his toy, Mr. Dinosaur, more. Even though George couldn't speak yet, he could say one word very well, Dinosaur. Sometimes Peppa got a little bit annoyed with George. George, she would sigh, why do you always say Dinosaur for everything? It's so boring. One day, Peppa, George, Mummy, and Daddy Pig got into their little car and drove to their new house on top of the little green hill. Peppa was excited about the new house, but she was very excited about the very wet and extremely muddy puddles in the yard. Can we go and jump in the muddy puddles, asked Peppa. It's nearly time for bed, Peppa, replied Mummy. You have to wait until tomorrow. Peppa and George woke up very early the next morning and went to find Mommy and Daddy Pig. Can we please go outside and jump in muddy puddles, asked Peppa excitedly. We're going to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today, Peppa, replied Mommy Pig sleepily. You can jump in muddy puddles there. After breakfast, it was time to leave, so Peppa and her family jumped into the little car. Ready? asked Daddy Pig cheerily. Yes, Daddy Pig. Everyone covered, answered back. Then let's go, shouted Daddy Pig. Yippee, cried Peppa. She couldn't wait to get to Granny and Grandpa's house and jump in muddy puddles. The family, room soon, the family soon arrived at Granny and Grandpa's house. Peppa and George were very excited. They loved going to visit Granny and Grandpa Pig. Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, cried Peppa. Grannily, bubbly, shouted George. Hello, my little ones, answered Granny Pig. Come inside, Granny, said Peppa. Can I jump in muddy puddles, please? I think Grandpa Pig has something to show you first, Peppa, said Granny Pig. Peppa was a little disappointed. She really wanted to jump in muddy puddles. Grandpa Pig took Peppa and George to let his vegetable garden. This is where I grow my vegetables, his said Grandpa Pig. First I plant some seeds. Can we eat your yummy vegetables, Grandpa, asked Peppa, forgetting all about muddy puddles. We have to wait for them to grow a bit bigger, replied Grandpa. Ooh, gasped Peppa excitingly. Suddenly, there was a loud bang. Oh dear, gasped Grandpa Pig. That was thunder. That means it's going to rain. We should hurry inside before we get wet. Peppa, George, and Grandpa Pig ran inside as fast as they could go to get out of the rain. Peppa and George watched the rain splash, splash, splash down the window. George started to cry. Don't cry, George, said Peppa. It's only rain. But George wasn't crying because it was raining. 
George was crying because he had lost his dinosaur. Peppa searched upstairs, downstairs, and even in the toilet, but she couldn't find Mr. Dinosaur anywhere. Just then she had an idea. Peppa ran outside and found a little, very little wet Mr. Dinosaur in Grandpa's very muddy vegetable garden. She ran inside and gave Mr. Dinosaur to George. George was very happy. The rain has stopped, cried Peppa. What can we do now? I have a very good idea, Peppa, said Daddy Pig, pointing outside. Hooray, cheered Peppa, seeing the muddiest puddles ever. Peppa had been so busy looking at Grandpa's vegetables and searching for Mr. Dinosaur, she had forgotten all about jumping in the puddles. Peppa loved jumping up and down in the muddy puddles more than anything in the whole wide world. All of Peppa's family loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles more than anything in the whole wide world. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The end. Thank you, that was a great story. We are so excited to have the community coming out and reading with us. Jane, join us again for another adventure in Charlotte's Reading Adventure.